Hello. Uh, in the last class, we discussed about the uh, material cost variances. Today, we will discuss about the labor variances, right? So, in labor cost variances, we will start with the objective. So, the objective of this session is to define labor cost variance and its components, explain how standards for direct labor are set, understand the calculation of direct labor variances and analyze the key sub variances like the labor rate, efficiency, mix, idle time and yield variances. So, uh, let us start with the introduction. What is the definition of labor variance? It measures the difference between actual and standard labor cost. So, if we recall that we already discussed that the variance study we do to understand the uh, understand the difference between the standard cost and the actual cost and whether uh, you know it is a, a performance management tool right so its importance is critical for cost control in manufacturing processes so as we know that labor is a very important comp cost component in our manufacturing process and the uh, management should know must be aware that what is the time the labor uh, what is the cost the labor incurred right uh, for uh, manufacturing and whether it is up to the standard or beyond the standard or it is below the standard so uh, as we did earlier also there can be favorable as well as adverse variances so we say the variance is favorable right when uh, the actual cost is lower than the standard expected cost right so this we say it is a favorable variance right this indicates a better than expected performance right example if workers uh, complete a task in less time or at a lower rate than expected and it leads to favorable variance and also if it is not if the actual cost is more right then we say it is an adverse variance right so adverse variance is what where the actual costs are higher than the uh, standard costs and it is worse than expected performance right example if workers take more time or paid more than the standard rate than the standard rate so if uh, if the workers take more time or paid more than the standard rate this leads to an adverse variance so impact is what that it is impact is increased costs and lower efficiency so direct labor cost variance how to calculate direct labor cost variance this is an overall this is the overall difference between the standard labor cost expected and actual labor cost incurred right so this is the difference between standard labor cost expected and actual labor cost incurred so i can uh, calculate it like this standard hours into standard rate uh, minus actual hours into actual rate so this is my total direct labor cost variance right okay so uh, uh, if the actual hours and the actual rates are equal to standard hours and standard rates then the variance will be zero fine okay so here is an example suppose the so standard wage rate is given as 5 uh, per hour standard time 1000 hours actual wage rate 6 per hour actual time 980 hours calculate the direct labor cost variance so we need to calculate the direct labor cost variance so we know the formula is standard hour into standard rate minus actual hour into actual rate so standard hours is 1000 right and standard rate it is given here it is 5 and actual hours 980 it is given here and actual rate wage rate is 6 right so 1000 into 5 is 5000 and uh, 980 into 6 is 5880 right so you see here the actual uh, cost is more than uh, the standard cost so it is adverse right adverse the difference between the two is 800 and 80 right 
so it is an adverse variance that means actual cost is uh, bigger than the standard cost the interpretation is the adverse variance indicates that the actual labor costs are higher than standard possibly due to higher wage rates or inefficiencies right here we can see from here that actual hours are less right actual hours are actually less than the standard hours so it took lesser time for completing the task but the wage rate is higher right the actual rate is higher than the so here it is 6 and here it is 5 so that is why the overall the total variance is becoming adverse in this case labor rate variance now this la total labor cost variance can happen because of two reasons right one is the rate is different or the hours are different right so labor rate variance is the difference between expected or standard and actual rates right so it is standard rate minus actual rate into actual hours so standard rate minus actual rate into actual hours fine okay so standard rate you see here uh, again right the so standard rate is given at uh, 5 per hour right this is standard rate actual rate is 6 per hour actual hours it is 980 so standard rate i can see here standard rate it is 5 the formula is standard rate minus actual rate into actual hours standard rate is 5 uh, actual rate is 6 and uh, actual hours is 980 right so you can see here 5 minus 6 is minus 1 so minus 1 into 980 so 980 and it is adverse right the reason is simple the reason is that the uh, actual rate is more than the standard rate so the rate variance labor rate variance is adverse in this case the adverse variance indicates the workers are paid more per hour than the standard rate right so it is an indication that the labor rate is higher labor efficiency variance so another reason why the total labor variance cost variance can be uh, uh, different from uh, no, uh, is uh, adverse or favorable is the uh, difference in efficiency right so efficiency means suppose that the uh, number of hours actually taken right vis-a-vis -vis the standard hours allocated this variance shows the difference between the expected hours expected hours of labor and the actual hours worked indicating how efficient the labor was right so it is the difference between the expected hours of labor and actual hours worked fine so what is the formula formula is standard hours for actual production right minus actual hours into standard rate standard hours for actual production minus actual hours into standard rate so this is my labor efficiency variance here is the problem we can solve this problem like this 1000 hours the standard time for production actual time taken is 980 hours uh, standard uh, uh, wage rate 5 per hour calculate the labor efficiency variance what is the formula the formula is standard hours minus actual hours into standard rate so standard hours you see it is given here thousand right here it is given thousand and actual hours given here you see 980 it is given here 980 into standard rate is given five right so uh, labor efficiency variance will be equal to uh, 20 into 5 so 100 it is you, here you see the actual time taken is less than the standard time so it is favorable it is 100 favorable right what is the interpretation this favorable variance indicates that the workers were more efficient they are doing the same work at less number of hours completing the work in less than expected less time than expected so uh, uh, uh in this problem the workers are to complete the job workers were allocated uh, 1000 hours but actually they have taken 980 hours so 
it is favorable for them right it is uh, favorable they are doing the same job at lesser number of hours now labor idle time variance uh, this variance occurs when workers are paid for time when no production is happening due to machine breakdown or other disruptions so idle time variance is equal to idle hours into standard rate so idle hours into standard rate so here is the uh, problem and its solution idle time 20 hours standard wage rate rupees 5 per hour calculate the labor idle time variance right so what is the formula labor idle time variance is equal to idle hours into standard rate so labor idle time variance is equal to 20 into 5 that is rupees 100 and here you see it is adverse right uh, this adverse variance shows that the company lost rupees 100 due to unproductive time uh, the next variance is labor mix variance labor mix variance measures the difference in cost due to a change in a in the composition of the workforce that is using more or fewer skilled workers than planned so what is the formula so labor mix variance is equal to standard revised standard hours minus actual hours worked into standard rate so revised standard hours minus actual hours worked into standard rate so we can calculate it like this here is the problem stand there are uh, two grades of workers here first one is grade a grade a uh, they have 80 at the rate of rupees 5 per hour actual they have taken is 100 right standard workers 120 at the rate rupees 3 per hour right grade b for grade b standard workers actual they have taken is 80 calculate the labor mix variance fine so we need to calculate the labor mix variance from this problem you see there are two categories of workers are working here right grade a and grade b so uh, first uh, they and their rates are different they are, they are number of hours are also different so we need to calculate the revised standard hour for grade a first right so it is 80 divided by total number of hours is 80 plus 120 that is 200 right into 100 plus 80 right the actuals right this 100 and this 80 so if we uh, if we solve then it is coming to 72 right for grade b workers the revised standard hours are 120 120 is coming from here 200 is sum of 80 and 120 right into 100 plus 80 it is coming from here right so if we solve then revised standard hour is coming 108 right what is the formula formula is labor mix variance is equal to revised standard hours minus actual hours worked into standard rate right revised standard hours minus actual hours into standard rate now revised standard hours for grade a we calculated here 72 so i am bringing here 72 minus actual hours how much they worked they worked 100 it is coming from here right into standard rate what is the standard rate it is 5 it is coming here so it is 140 right but here you see the standard hour is 72 and the actual hour is 100 that means actual hours are more than the uh, standard hours so it is adverse fine similarly for grade b workers grade b we can do it like this once you have standard hours is 108 minus 80 right 80 is actual right into 80 is coming from here right into 3 per hour so it is 3 so it is coming to 84 favorable right 
what is the interpretation the overall variance indicates the labor mix was inefficient as more high wage workers were used than planned so overall you see for grade b it is favorable for grade a it is unfavorable out of which one the grade day uh, workers are high high cost right they charge 5 uh, rupees per hour where in, uh, in comparison to rupees 3 per hour for uh, grade b workers right so the labor mix is uh, it seems that it is inefficient in this case right and inefficient means it may increase the cost of production okay fine the next one is labor yield variance the labor yield variance shows how much actual output varies from the standard outputs based on the labor time spent, right? So, labor yield variance is equal to actual yield minus standard yield into standard output cost per unit, right? Actual yield minus standard yield into standard output cost per unit. So, here is the uh, problem and its solution. Standard time is 600 hours. Standard rate 10 per hour. Standard output 300 units. Actual output 225 units. Calculate the labor yield variance, right? So, formula uh, labor yield variance is equal to actual yield minus standard yield into standard output cost per unit right standard output cost per unit is equal to standard hours into standard rate divided by standard output so uh, st what are the standard hours standard hours is here you see it is given 600 so it is coming to 600 hours and uh, what is standard rate it is given here 10 right so it is 10 here standard rate uh, divided by standard output what is my standard output it is 300 units so it is coming to 300 units so if i solve it will get uh, rupees 20 per unit right now calculation so labor yield variance is equal to actual yield uh, so actual yield is here 225 actual output right minus the standard output right into the standard output cost per unit that is 20 it is coming to 20 here right so if we solve it it is coming to 1500 and it is adverse that it is adverse why it is adverse it is adverse because your uh, in this case right the actual output is 225 but the standard output should be 300 so actual output is less than standard output so it is adverse fine okay this adverse variance indicates that the actual output was less than standard output leading to higher costs per unit right this adverse variance indicates that the actual output was less than the standard output leading to higher costs per unit okay so, this is a summary, labor cost variance helps assess the effectiveness of labor cost management. The main variances, rate, efficiency, idle time, mix, yield provide insights into different aspects of labor cost control. Thank you.